Today, we're going to be taking a look at a gun that was pretty shunned by everyone, but this conversion kit is going to completely change the game. The Sidewinder is known for its slow fire rate, but high damage, and this conversion kit is going to make it to where the rate of fire increases the longer we hold down the trigger. Here's the build that I use, and let's get on with the video. It is another beautiful day in Urzikstan, and today we're going to be testing out the brand new conversion kit on the Sidewinder, the Thunder LMG. Now, what this gun is basically going to do now, it's it's going to have a 50 round mag first off to start, which is almost double, I want to say, what the uh, Sidewinder uh, had previously. So definitely a big bump up, but something that's going to be affected as well is the longer we hold down the trigger, the faster the bullets are going to come out. So the faster fire rate we get, it's just I, I, I've tested this only in the firing range. And let me tell you, this thing is just insane. So as always, you guys already know, bring one of each crystal and one of each tool, as well as a armor plate and a speed cola and jug just for myself. Now, just so you guys can see, normal fire rate for the Sidewinder or something like that, but as this gun starts ramping up, I mean, it, it gets hard to control the recoil sometimes too. But I can already see this in tier three just being absolutely insane. I mean, this gun already was doing so much damage now with this, I mean, I don't even know what to think at this point. So you already know, we're going to take it straight into tier two. Um, I have a little bit of ammo, so we can use that. Um, that's the one thing I will say this might have an issue with is that you're going to be going through mags like insanely quickly. It's going to be a bit of a struggle probably to keep your ammo up. So it won't be much of a struggle in tier three, but I can see outside of tier three of being a bit of a of an issue. All right, so here we go. Tier 2 zombie. I mean, keep in mind, this is still gray rarity. This is nothing has been done to the gun, and it's already kind of like. And they could already basically take on tier 2s. If you can control the recoil, you're, you're doing all right. Now, upgraded to rare rarity. We're going to go ahead and see what it does to this guy right here. It should just, yeah. I mean, that's just what the Sidewinder does, though. I mean, it just absolutely shreds zombies in tier 2. I mean,. What, dude? Like, that took, like, six bullets. And now that they're coming out so quick, I mean, I can see this for sure, for sure, being a uh, a meta weapon here very quickly. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not going to do that single burst damage, kind of like the Tears or the Lockwood. But damage over time, I mean, this honestly might be a contender. Uh, but we have to wait and see it once we get into Tier 3, what it's going to do. But we're going to go ahead and find some more zombies here and test this out a bit further. Alrighty guys, so we found a bit more test subjects here to work with. We're gonna try and clump them up and see how much of a of a horde this thing can get through in tier two at still just rare rarity. We're not gonna do anything to it until I wanna see like a full mag dump on these guys. So we got about like I would say 20-ish zombies. Let's see how it does. So each each zombie gives 20 experience, so I killed 10 zombies there. Uh, that has to be wrong, right? Nope. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this thing, even in tier 2 already, it's just like, what? I, I don't even, I want to see this pack once already. Now you have 100 rounds in the mag. So if I remember correctly, the longer you hold down the trigger, the faster you shoot. So now I'm wondering, once you get past that 50 bullet mark, does this thing just like burst out like a freaking A-10 Warhawk? Just like... <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, it's so hard to control. Okay. The, this might be just... We might have just discovered something different, I will say. And Because, like, dude, it's just... Once you get that increased fire rate, it's like... It's hard to control, I will give it that. But even, like, even without it, you can kind of, like, two or three shot zombies in the zone. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not a two or three shot, but... We're looking like at maybe four shots. We'll get like four to five shots if you hit like a few body shots. But that's still at if you're using this right now at pack one rare rarity, and it's already it's already doing this insane damage. So I can only imagine when we start actually getting this gun up a little bit, um, it, what the damage is gonna be here. And what the hell just happened here, Call of Duty? It's come on, guys. Keep in mind, this is a triple-A game, boys. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to get this up to Pack-A-Punch level 2. You already did, let's say, a few missions. You got your $10,000. 
And now let's get it up to pack a punch level two in the tier two zone. I mean, this thing should just absolutely rip through everything. Yeah, body shots, head shots, it doesn't matter what you're shooting here. It just absolutely destroyed everything. It looks like it's about like four or five body shots there just to, to break armor and kill them. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to head into the tier three zone and we're going to get this upgraded to epic rarity, test it out. Uh, but we're first going to keep it at rare, go to epic, go to legendary, and then get it pack a punch level three to see it at its max potential. But I'll catch you guys there. All right. So we have made it to the tier three zone and we're going to test this gun out. Keep in mind, it's still rare rarity pack level two. We got this looks like a light armor. Let's see. Can it be taken down relatively easy? That took about 40 bullets, so I wouldn't call that easy. I will say that it that is a little disappointing. But let's test it out on a regular zombie. Okay, it took out what three zombies there and 60 bullets. So let's give it an average of about like 30 bullets to a zombie, which is not great. That's honestly a lot worse than I was thinking. I might be missing a lot of these shots too, but doesn't sure as hell doesn't seem like it. Either way, it looks like it is doing at least some pretty decent damage. And it's still rare rarity. Pack 2. Like, this is generally what you can easily accomplish every single game. No worry at all. You can you can always hit this. So here we're going to go to epic rarity. This should have changed the gun a crazy mutt, a crazy ton. But um, it does actually give it a bit of a, a bump in damage. So that's always good. Um, it honestly, looks like it takes them out a lot quicker. It, I wasn't expecting the jump to be that much, but it definitely, it definitely did help a, a lot more than I thought it was. Now you're seeing now they're now zombies are actually getting chunked instead of getting the little trickles. I mean, tier two again. This is pack two in tier three, uh, and it's, I'm having absolutely no issue with it. Like zombie chasing me. Yep, no worries. Oh, this whole horde is chasing me now. Yeah, you know what? There they go. Basically, everybody's deleted. I mean, 100 rounds, and it took out, what was that, 20 tier 3 zombies? Not bad, not bad at all, I will say. So, we're now going to get it up to Legendary Rarity. This is going to be the top end of Pack-A-Punch 2. Um, and this is generally where we should start seeing this gun uh, sort of change and start chunking a ton more. Obviously, Hellhounds are not going to be that big a deal. Um, let's see if we can get a few test subjects. Here we go. These guys are wonderful volunteers. This is, this is, I think, where this gun is going to start just differentiating itself. I mean, what the hell was that? Like, it, I'm pretty sure that chunked one-third of the guy's health there for a second. Okay, not, not a complete third, but it took eight shots again to kill this guy. All right, here we go. Actually, Mega Abomination. Let's see how fast we can chunk him. Okay. That did not do what I think it was going to do. Okay. That, that's a bit disappointing, but you know what? We're now going to get this upgraded to uh, Pack-A-Punch level 3. Uh, let's say you did your first few missions in here. You were able to kill the zombies, able to defend yourself. Now you want to take on the big boys. This is what you want to do. You got yourself all pack a punch all ready to go. It's time to have some, have some fun. Okay. I'm not going to count that head pop because obviously he just, dis he just disappeared. This gun is so good that it just not nah, playing. It just one shot this fucking mega. Nah. All right. Unfortunately, he disappeared. So we're gonna go to the next spot. I know where megas are gonna be, which is gonna be right up here in uh, the courtyard. It looks like the uh, the deadbolt turret is active, so there's probably nobody there. Uh, let's go ahead and actually pick up this bounty. Though. But again, zombies. Not now. You're literally just four shotting zombies to the head. You can take out a horde of 50 zombies, I would say, pretty easily with this, considering a bullet pen and a whole bunch of other factors. Like, these guys right here just kind of pose, like, no issue. Like, gone. <laughs> gone. They're all gone. We got a Disciple, so it's not going to be what I wanted. I kind of wanted to get a Mega. We got a little, got a little Mimic here? Hello there. Goodbye. It honestly isn't doing that much damage to, to special zombies. And I am kind of a bit worried about that. I felt like that should have done a ton more damage than it did. 
but you never know. We're going to test it out now in Tier 3. Tier 3 Bounty Disciples. So these are what I would consider one of the actual harder uh, bounties to take on. I don't know. I find I find Disciples in general to be the hardest of the three. And then obviously Mega Abominations would be would be considered the fourth um, or the top, top end of the line there. Although in Tier 3, it's kind of... I don't know about that. See, these guys can pose a bit of an issue. Especially with a gun like this where they move way too much. This could, uh, this could pose a threat here. All right, we're going to try this gun hip fire. We've been aiming in a lot. Oh, hip fire is not the move. I cannot move, like, at all when firing this. Okay. So we know not to hip fire anymore. That's good, good to know there. Good info. Oh, I got to be careful now. Give me the plates. No. I mean, I got golden armor. I shouldn't be too, too bad there. Let's see. Oh, now you want to come over. Hey, okay, I got rid of that pretty quick. The only thing I don't like is this movement speed. It's killing me because these sprinters are just going to come up on your face and just absolutely destroy. It is, however, not disappointing at all when it comes to damage here. It's taking, uh, getting rid of it pretty quickly. All right, here we go. This is a good DPS phase. If I can only hit my shots. Okay, we broke his. We broke the first of the uh, of his armors. This should be a good spot right here to do some damage. We gotta shoot his arm. Reload. Here we go. All right. Gotta keep firing. Okay, come on. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty disappointed, I will say, on the uh, on this side of things. I was hoping for a lot more damage out of this, and it's it's not it's just not doing it to the specials. It, it's destroying the regular zombies. Don't get me wrong. On that portion, I am very very happy with this gun. I mean, you can obviously tell this gun shreds shreds normal zombies like with ease. But as soon as you go to a mega or to a normal like tier three bounty, it's just it's just not doing what I'm expecting this gun to do. I mean, even the regular Sidewinder was doing a ton of damage. So I don't know if this conversion kit kind of messes with uh, with how much damage you can do in that sense. But I mean, just regular zombies, though. Oh, my God. Just absolutely just went right through them all. So here we go. This is a good damage opportunity. It's also the recoil that really messing me up here. I was holding down the trigger when this thing gets going. It, it's pretty rough. Can't let him heal. All right, here we go. Next damage opportunity. If I can break his arm. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pick this up and just throw this out here. Stop sucking me up right now. All right, that'll get rid of zombies for a sec. And here we go. Okay, I honestly think I just wasn't hitting my shots there because I couldn't see it very well. <laughs> uh, but not, I'm not liking that it didn't freaking just like absolutely annihilate him. Like I know the uh, the current meta as well. Like a Lockwood, you would literally just walk up to him, tap, tap, he's dead. Uh, we're going to do another bounty. We're going to go all the way up here and pick it up. But um, honestly, not impressed with the current uh, state of this. We're gonna also pick up a few. We're gonna pick up Deadshot. We're gonna pick up uh, a few other perks here as well. Uh, Cause maybe you need to just be completely geared out for this. Who knows? You, you gotta kinda give it the uh, the best possible chance here. Cause Deadshot is gonna give us a major headshot increase. I'm pretty sure now it'll literally like two shot the zombie. Okay, if you hit headshots, it will probably two shot them. Not if you hit their shoulder. But let's see. This guy right here, super sprinter. All right, one to the head. That's it's three shots to the head. I will say <clears throat> about three shots to the head. Man, when this thing gets going, holy! 
It just absolutely destroys regular zombies. I wish it would do that to, to like the megas and everything else, but it's just, it doesn't seem to do that. Let's go ahead, pick up some ammo and see if we can find another special. It looks like they took all the bounties in tier three already. Give me, give me like a freaking tier five zone at this point. Give me pack, pack a punch level four and tier five, please. I, at this point we need it. There's too many people in tier three already. Every, everybody's getting too good at this game. <laughs> All right, let's let's see. Do we have we have another bounty? But now we gotta run all the way back. Are you kidding me? Oops. Gotta be careful here. And here we go. So all these zombies. I mean, as long as you can kind of control the recoil, I mean, you're doing. You're just you're spitting out so many bullets so quickly. It's almost like you have like a scorpion Evo from uh from the old COD. I do see a mimic here. Let's let's see how this this bad boy does. Okay, yeah. So like regular zombies, you can you can just shred through them so quickly. It's just I don't know. It's it's not. It just didn't do it with the uh, with the bounty there. So maybe maybe it changed. Who knows? Maybe dead shot is what you need to give you that insane like I think it's one point six percent or one point six times the damage. Uh, off headshots it gives you a much better multiplier um you never know that, mi that might be exactly what it needed i mean it, it did kind of shredded that mangler look key. i was not even hitting headshots hold up it might it might just have needed a little bit of love All right, i gotta i gotta pick up stamina up i don't know what i was doing picking up phd flopper and Quick revive before stamina. I'm kind of panicked there with the <laughs> with the two zombies right on my ass. Let's go ahead. It's right up here. We'll pick up this bounty. It'll probably send us to the front of the map, and then we'll see just how good this gun can really get. I honestly think if you're just doing like regular missions, trying to get schematics, I want to say this is an okay gun. But why would you use something like this when you have like the Lockwood or the Tears, like? There's really no reason to use anything other than the meta at the current moment, unless you just want to have fun. And at this point, that's basically all I'm doing. So I'm kind of enjoying messing around with these uh, these pretty crazy builds. Uh, oh crap. Let's go. I should be up here. Nope, it's all the way out here. I just don't know these these bounties anymore. I've come to realize that. Oh my god, I just that was not smart. Let's move. Ooh, that was that was pretty clean i will say all right we are gonna come up on this right up here and let's see just how good this gun is uh gonna get oh and it's a mega he just spawned it all right maggie get your ass over here Okay, why are there so many zombies on this hill? Alright, here we go. This is the first test. It is not breaking. Okay, I think it broke ahead there. Did it break ahead? I don't think it did. So many fucking zombies just came at me. Like, all of a sudden. <laughs> Didn't let me freaking break the head. Okay, this is not a very good spot. What the fuck is going on with all the zombies here? Like, can y'all just like fuck off for a minute? How would I make you fuck off? Okay, hey, you know what? I it might have just been dead shot. Dead shot might have been the answer here. All right, let's test. This is a full. Yeah, I didn't see a head pop there, and I didn't hear the little crunch. Oh, but we did get it. Ooh, that that juke was kind of nice. Not gonna lie. All right, get get all these zombies out of here. Oh my god, the mega see my ass. Yeah, yo, what? <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, there's a doghouse up here now. I didn't know that. All right, do some extra damage here. Oh shit, not a good time. I'm out of ammo. Oh god. This is what I was saying earlier that 
ammo is gonna be an issue. <laughs> it is not, I will say, it's not doing terrible now against the Mega. It was doing really bad earlier, but now it's kind of just like, okay. Not, not Nothing to write home about, but at the same time, it, you can survive, you can do your missions. You do a bunch of stuff in here now. I mean, before that, you, I mean, now the zombies just die, but you can actually get some stuff done by doing this now. All right, let's finish him off. He has his head available. And that should be the end of that. So, again, not too bad. I mean, it, it didn't really take too long. It's, again, not going to be some crazy, holy shit, like some brand new thing. Um, but it's just not, not, something, uh, not something terrible either. I mean, you, you, you shred zombies in the tier 3 zone. That's, that's going to be the main thing. You're not going to be running into a mega abomination every two seconds here. If you play your cards correctly, you kind of run around and get things done the other way. But for right now, boys, this is going to be it. I will see you guys in the next one.